All right, so to expand a little bit on the coal mine and explain why there's a Southern Pacific switcher there, I'm actually contemplating making the uh, um, one or two of the industries, including the coal mine, supported by uh, a short line railroad as opposed to CSX. Um, I've been looking up some videos of the Beach Mountain Railroad and uh, thought those were pretty cool. Um, it's going to allow me to have um, just a small number of coal cars here and have it make sense instead of, you know, huge cuts of a couple hundred cars and me representing it as 30 cars, you know, it's kind of hard to find anywhere to park 30 cars. So I'm thinking that might make sense. Um, this is where the uh, coal conveyors would come out of the mountain. They would have one of those giant piles of coal with uh, one of these guys riding on it, pushing it around and such. Um, and then I'm thinking actually to make the coal mine um, operational, I don't think I'm going to have the time uh, or the um, interest necessary to actually automate this flood loader here. So I think what I'm going to do is steal the idea of somebody that I saw on Instagram where they have kind of embedded embedded into their table um, a bucket of coal. So like I'll have a coal scene over there that'll all be permanent. And then over here, there's a bucket that you can hardly see where you just basically take scoops of this during an operating session and fill each of the coal cars. So you use live loads for, you know, five, 10 cars, and then you bring those all the way back to the staging yard and they get taken and, uh, put into a larger coal train elsewhere, which then runs around the layout. Um, and I'm going to try to stick one or two industries back here that might also uh, be a part of the short line, but more to come on that.